Once upon a time, in a land far away, lived a circus owner who loved performers and wanted to create a place where they could all come and be full of joy. He would build a magnificent circus where each one would passionately perform to their heart's delight under the watchful eyes of both the ringmaster and himself. The circus owner had sought out a variety of talented performers to make this circus unique. The performers loved the ringmaster because he was kind, gentle, loving and only wanted the best for them. They diligently worked together to help the ringmaster make the circus a wonderful success. The performers wanted nothing more than to please their beloved ringmaster and circus owner. Yet, as the applause and laughter raised the roof of the circus tent, there was one performer who was disgruntled and became jealous of the ringmaster's success. He wanted to be the one in charge. He wanted the attention and praise. In order to make this happen, the clown devised a plan that would remove the ringmaster once and for all. He would persuade the performers to betray the ringmaster. The cunning clown began to tell the performers that the ringmaster didn't really love them and that he only wanted them for their talents. The clown promised them that, as their leader, he would take better care of them he would appreciate them even more. He would give them real freedom if they would just sign a contract and come work for him. Upon hearing this, the performers signed the clown's agreement and left the loving care of the ringmaster. At first, everything was better than they could have imagined. Then, without warning, things changed. The clown became a cruel and hard taskmaster, making them work from dusk till dawn, bound in chains. The clown's selfish desires were never satisfied. The performers, tearful and heavy hearts, longed for the loving care of the ringmaster. They wanted to be back in the safekeeping of their circus owner once again. The ringmaster watched from a distance with great pain. He was compelled to act and went to the circus owner to find out what it would cost to redeem the performers from their contract. The circus owner hung his head and sadly said, Your life. The ringmaster loved the performers so much and wanted them free from the clown's harsh control that he agreed to pay the price. The ringmaster went to the clown and said he was willing to pay the price to take back the performers. The clown snared at him and laughed. He thought that he was mad. With the ringmaster dead and out of his way, there would be no stopping his plans for the circus and the performers. So the clown and his two followers whipped beat and humiliated the ringmaster. They drug him behind the circus curtain and began to lynch him from the poles that once held the circus in place. He hung mid-air and as he took his final breath, the curtain fell. The ringmaster's cold body lay still as the clown and his crew reviled in their glory. They knew that victory was theirs. The performers looked at their beloved ringmaster and wept. Who were they that the ringmaster would willingly give his life for them? The performers hung their heads, hopeless and broken. The light slowly dimmed. Darkness had won. Without warning, from the folds of blackness, the circus suddenly began to tremble, and the earth beneath them cracked. Out from
from behind the curtain, a glimmer of light appeared and grew brighter and brighter until, like a blade, it ripped the curtain. The light was so intense and its power shook loose the chains that bound every performer. Because the ringmaster willingly gave his life, he not only ransomed the performers, but he shredded the contracts that held them captive. The price was paid for each and every performer in order that they could live the good life with the beloved ringmaster and circus owner once again. <laughs>